I'm going to start working on the neck now. Um, I had this block of mahogany that I already cut one neck out and now I can get the mirror image cut out for the neck on this guitar. Um, left plenty of extra thickness here so that I can do the diamond on the back of the head where the head joins the, the main part of the neck. So what I will do now is smooth out the peg head surface and that'll tell me exactly where the uh, 14th fret joint will be and then I'll start working on this end where the neck actually joins the body. using the edge of the plane as a straight edge just to see if I'm flat across, which I seem to be. So now I'll cut the truss rod channel and then start making the neck to body joint. This is the mortise in the head block that uh, the neck will fit into. So now I'm going to cut out the tenon in the neck. So this is where the the 14th fret will sit and then these red lines will be the tenon and once everything is cut that'll slide right in there tightly. The tenon is too wide right now doesn't quite fit in there so I'll shave that down a little bit with a plane and then proceed to taper the heel and, and give it its final shape. The heel tapers pretty nicely along the same pattern as this section of a French curve. So makes it easy to mark where I need to carve. I know I slipped a little with the line there, but it's not going to make any difference. So all this wood has to go away. for now. I've got the heel shaped 
and in addition to shaping it, I've uh, taken a bunch of, of measurements to make sure that the center line of the neck lines up with the center line of the body. Uh, it had been a little bit off and the neck was sort of tilted toward the base side so I had to shave just a little bit of wood off of the treble side of the heel to get it to tip back the other way. And uh, I've also checked the, I guess I'd call it the vertical measurement and gotten that right where I wanted. Uh, what I'm looking for is about an eighth of an inch gap right where the where this straight edge hits the bridge line. Um, that eighth of an inch without the fretboard on the neck is where I want it to be in order to get the the right bridge and saddle height. So those parts are all set. Um, the heel looks quite symmetrical to me. I always double check it though with this, uh, I think it's called a pattern gauge maybe. Um, anyway, I'll push this down just about an eighth of an inch from the edge of the heel and then Flip the neck over and look at it here. And uh, one of those little wires is in the way. But there I can I can see that it's virtually identical from one side to the other. So it looks like I could shave just a little bit more off the top edge here which I'll do, and then the heel will be done. After I get the heel done, um, because this is a, a fancy guitar, I want to extend these uh, abalone and black and white lines right along the heel. So that'll be kind of a challenge. Um, so I'm going to finish sanding that first and then I'll proceed to to get the grooves made in into the sides of the guitar so that I can miter in the abalone and purfling lines. <laughs> 